Quarter to five, BBC Radio Oxford for a Friday night. Grab your popcorn, get ready to be blown away. The cinemas may not be reopened yet, but our resident film expert Van Connor is here to tell us about the latest releases on streaming services and the like. Van, good to have you with us. I gather you'll only speak to us if we use this as your introduction. Which kind of makes sense. It feels only right. Van, how you doing? I'm good, Danny. We call it the Van Fair, so it works out. <laughs> it does, exactly. So, what have you spotted? What should we be looking out for this week? Well, one that's available on digital from today. We've got two available on digital. The first I'm going to talk to you about, amazing movie that would, in a better world, have been up for at least Best Actress at the Oscars earlier this year. It is Clemency, the uh, new movie for Chinonye Chukwu, who took home the, uh, the Grand Jury Prize at Sundance last year for Best US Drama. She was the first black woman to do so. This stars Alfred Woodard as the warden of a prison, Bernadine Williams. She is tiring of having to execute her inmates. It's taking a toll. All of her co-workers are starting to phase out. They've, they've had enough. They're leaning on her stability to make their way through this emotional and psychological minefield. But it's all taking too much of a toll on her. And this all happens as she's getting ready to execute a uh, potentially wrongfully incarcerated inmate known as Anthony Woods, who's charged with executing a police officer, murdering a police officer. He's played by Aldous Hodge from The Invisible Man, straight out of Compton, a bunch of TV shows you'd have seen from the US. Really great movie. I've got a clip for you of her facing off against his lawyer, played by Richard Schiff. You know, for the past seven years, you've blocked every single attempt I've made to try to get him to be treated like a human being. You're going to kill him. Is not enough? I have treated him like a human being. Every step of the way. Is that my job to bypass the rules to accommodate your special request? Special request. How is it a special request? Open the gates, please. I'd like to leave now. That I have to maintain request. order and safety in this prison. I got over a thousand bodies that I have to ensure are safe and accounted for. It's hard enough without you complicating things. What you have to do is protect yourself now that this place is under fire since you botched the last execution. Love Richard Schiff. You'll recognise his voice, of course, from the West Wing. And Van, where can we see, <laughs> how can we see Clemency? So Clemency is available on digital platforms. So this is the kind of thing you'll be able to purchase on your Apple devices, on your, your Fire Sticks, you know, online. I say it's available to, to, uh, to rent from today. Amazing movie. Can't recommend it highly enough. OK, that's just one of the two big movies this weekend that you're highlighting. What's next? Well, this one's a bit dodgier. For, for Ofcom reasons, I'm happy a bit delicate with this one. So the movie's called Come As You Are, and it, uh, it involves three uh, disabled American 20-somethings who go on a road trip with their handler, played by uh, Gabriel Sidibe. They are on a journey to a Canadian brothel that specialises in servicing the needs of people with you know, special physical needs. And uh, well, so it's not just a clever title. And uh, that really is the plot of the film. It's uh, an adaptation of a 2011 Belgian comedy called Hasta la Vista, which was then retitled as Come As You Are as well. It was remade, I think, in 2016. It's a Norwegian film. It's now been remade for American audiences. And I'll have a clip for you of them being hunted down on the road by their parents. Yeah, it's my parents. Take mine out, will you? Wait, what happened? Where is it? It's, uh, it's in the pouch. Dude, it's your mom, too. Toss it. What? Seriously, toss it out the window. They can track us. It's the cost of freedom. Do it. Mo, you too. Did he just throw his phone out? Mo, yeah. Do not throw my phone Mo, out. Throw Mo, it. throw I'm your phone out. My mom no, knows man. you. She knows it's your mom. Toss it. Phone, they can man. track us now. Do it. What was that? It's my SIM card. I threw out my SIM card. Fuck, that's a better idea. So stupid. Come as you are starts this weekend. You can see it in numerous different places, Van. And again, this is one of those to download from various different streaming places. Oh, absolutely. And I recommend very highly that you do. I think this is a really tremendous film. It's got a real indie sensibility to the tone and style of it. But at the same time, it's quite a broadly appealing, crass movie. It's a sex dramedy, you know, as it, as it is. And it's not just a clever title, even though they're going to deny us a, a potential Nirvana biopic down the line with that title, which is a shame. But this is a really, really great movie. It's, it's written with innate sensitivity. There's real foresight. There's insight. The characters are well-rounded. There's great performances. The Grant Rosenmeier, who plays the obvious scene stealer of the trio, I think is great. Gabriel Sidibe is kind of the big name of it. And you've got the parents who are played by Janine Garofalo and C.S. Lee from Dexter. I think they're very good as well. But for me, the strength of this comes down to Eric Lindhorst, uh, who's adapted the screenplay. I think he's done a tremendous job.
I love my movies. Always great to chat with you, film expert Van Connor. Thanks for joining us. I'm